Hello everybody, we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemont, this is Christopher Drage, hey. and this is Matt Weiss. Yeah. And our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at... Where is it? Where is it, Dan? Uh, there it is. Hockey Locker, Hockey 2002 Locker. West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wow. Magic. Yep. You can get all your hockey needs there. They're Milwaukee's number uh, number one one-stop shop for all your hockey needs. You can get your skates sharpened there. They have a drop-off window. You can drop your hockey skates off anytime. And just leave some contact info, and they will get back to you when they're done. And your skates are always in special, special hands. With Milos over there at Hockey Locker. Um, also, you can check out their website at HockeyRockerMilwaukee.com. Or if you have any questions about their store or if any of their merchandise, you can call them at... You can call them easily at 414-800-7585. Now, before we get into this, is there any other website that we broadcast on other side, other than Facebook? Oh, yeah. You can go over to YouTube and YouTube. click subscribe. That way you get all of our content. Is we also do YouTube exclusives. Is there this thing they can ring that we like to yeah, ring at Admiral's games, like the so cow, like the cowbell? Ding the bell. Yeah, Ding you should bell. click the bell so you get notified. Um, yeah. Every time we do a video. Don't be a total. Sick. And I should try to get our subscribes up to thirty-five. We currently have thirty-one. Right. We need four more to hit that goal. Come on, people, let's grow that our YouTube fan base, shall we? All right. So, on that other note. Other note. We transition to this. Oh, yeah. <sighs> now it's kind of sacrilege that we have the wolves next to the MKE next. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It Again, is what it technicality, is. Technicality: left team road, right team home. Well, technically, uh, they weren't wearing their normal uniforms. No. Tonight. I want to explain tonight uh, why that is. Why we have our special Milwaukee Admirals logo up above. Uh, yeah, I uh, want to explain what the retro look is for this evening. We retired Darren Hadar's number 20 into the rafters. Might not please Ryan Suter, but it is I think... what it is, man. Actually, he wore the number four here. That's mm -hmm. Ah, that's no, true. No, two. He wore the number two Either here. Either way, he ain't number 20. Because he was here at the same time Hadar was. Oh, that's right. So if Nashville retires his number, uh, Hadar's number, after playing only four games in the NHL, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but Darren Hadar hey. is an AHL Hall of Famer, um, an Admirals alum, alum, alum and um, he led us to two Calder Cups. We won oh, one and lost one. And he's a two-time Calder Cup winner uh, in two different franchises. Yeah, he won one with the uh, other. The game. other, the other one that's over my head. Over I here, can't remember? Yeah, but... he won one with them. So it was kind of special for both both fan bases. I'd never seen so many people in the stands <laughs> during an intermission in my life. Yeah, sure. but that was cool watching a ceremony. Too. Never that was the first time I've ever been to a number retirement. Yeah, same here. <sighs> so, in the honor... Show a little more enthusiasm. We picked up two key points in this thing. We picked up two key points. We got to wear some awesome crimson jerseys once more. And, uh, oh, yeah. One of I the... love this logo, by yeah. the way. This and the current one are my two favorite Admiral logos. Yep. Um. So, in this game, shots were even. Uh, power play, uh, Chicago 0 for 2. Milwaukee 1 for 3. Uh, scoring in the first, take it away, Matt. Sure. Uh, we had Brandon Peary of the Chicago Wolves score his 13th goal with an assist by Jacob Magna, his fifth. His fifth. Then uh, the tides turned into the Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee's favor with uh, rookie Jeremy Davies getting his uh, fourth goal of the year uh, with assist by uh, Rem Pitlick, his 14th, and Josh Healy with his second. And welcome the, back, Healy. Welcome back, Healy. Uh, and then in the second period, uh, Daniel Carr got his 20th goal of the year with an assist from Steven Santini, his 10th, and Cole Schneider, his 24th. Steven Santini also coming back from a pretty nasty scrape up in the first period, too. Yeah. All right, so scoring in the third was Rem Pitlick with his 19th with an assist from Cole Schneider, his 25th, and Alexander Carrier, his 29th. 
That was scored on the power play. Then, on an empty net, Daniel Carr stuck the dagger <laughs> in the Wolves with his 21st with an assist from Ron Pitlick, his 15th, and Cole Schneider, his 26th. And that was an empty net goal. Three stars of the game were Cutter Ingram with 27 saves on 28 shots, Jeremy Davies with a goal, and Cole Schneider with three assists. Yeah. And that for the Wolves was... Uh, Oscar Dansk, he stopped 21 to 24. Uh, head coach for the Admirals is Carl Taylor, assistant coach Scott Ford, assistant coach Greg Rollo. Uh, head coach for the Chicago Wolves is Rocky Thompson, assistant coach Chris Deniz, and Bob Nardella. Uh, attendance tonight was 5,706. Felt yeah, like a lot right. more. That sounds yeah. about right for tonight. There were a lot of the um, blind people were the uh, Adam Blonsky Blonk- and Corey Servet. Uh, linesmen were Mike Daltrey and James Grenier. We'll get into that shortly. Um, yeah, I was about to say, we're going to talk about these yes, penalties. Yes, we are. Because there oh, are a lot of them. We are definitely talking about that. Um, so on the season, the Admirals are now 7-2, 1-1 one, against the Wolves. With that, we have one more meeting with them, I believe, sometime in March. Na, 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 na. Oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you are. Let's wait, not do anything. Let's not. Be... Let's not. Mm-hmm. All right. So, with that being said, let's talk about the referees. Uh, yeah. Um... Let's just talk about this first. The Steven Santini getting jumped by time again from behind and him sucker punching him right in the nose. And not only that, he got, what is it, a two-minute for uh, instigation, if I recall. Yep. Uh, a five-minute major for fighting. And then a ten-minute misconduct. Steven Santini, like, honestly, like, this is just pure... Turtle. Sp- yeah. He had to turtle. There's, he didn't see it coming. He didn't see anything coming, so I don't know. Like in my personal uh, scope of the thi- of the event, like why did he get called for fighting exactly? He didn't even land a punch, let alone drop the gloves. Also, he drew blood, which I'm I'm sorry that always anytime you draw blood on the ice, that's always a double minor. Well, there is sixty total penalty minutes. So... True. Chicago had like 41 just by themselves. So there's that instance. I don't know why these teams are so angry with each other today. Well, it's just the I-94 rivalry. It's the good old race. rivalry that brings back old school hockey, which is necessary for a night like tonight where you're retiring someone's numbers. Yeah, but man, some of that stuff was just flat out Bush League. The oh, NHL's you... not Bush League. They're just a developmental third. Are you referring to the... Wolves player who was down in the uh, in the second period, down in the ab- when the Admirals were down in their zone, and he takes the Admirals player stick and flips it into the stands. Yes, yeah. yes, I am. Or are you referring to the time where the Admirals scored an empty net goal, and then they sucker punch the guy who scored the goal? Uh, yeah, I'm also referring to how it should have been five one. But, uh, uh, you yeah. know, they had to wave that one off when it clearly crossed the line. Let's, let's get into that. Dan, would you remind us all exactly what happened on that? All right, so the goalie covered the, uh, the puck with his pad, then went into the net, which means if the puck is under his pad and if the whistle is not blown, it means it's a goal. Now, with that being said, if the referee cannot see the puck, the, pl- the play is supposed to be whistled dead, Therefore, it is a dead play, even if they can't see it on the replay. Mm-hmm. Now, I will give the officiating some some reasonable doubt. Like, but, but, but he kicked the puck yeah. out of the net. Yeah. You could see the puck clearly across the, the line of the crease. And then come out of the net. So, th- if th- here's the thing. If they were, like, I understand if, because we don't have goal cams. That's the thing. We talked about this. We don't have challenges either. We don't have challenges either, which, you know, I don't understand that in uh, the AHL. So is time again a goon? No. I'm starting to detect a trend here. Because look at all the penalties time again racked up tonight. Yeah, I see that. We'll get into that in a second. But I will make you laugh in a second because most likely he won't be seeing the light of day for a couple of days. 
Yeah, he's got a suspension coming his way, most likely. Yeah, he has to be. Ugh. Because he has He has, like, three in the first period. Also, you had, uh, was it, uh, Connor Ingram being targeted, what, twice? And just being knocked to the ice? Yeah, yeah. just blatantly attacked. Ingram so they were out. The wolves, so the Wolves had to play dirty. And it still didn't work. Nope, no. he still spanked him. All right, so with that being said, time again by himself has 10, 15, 17, 27, 29. Yeah. Good Lord. 29 penalties by himself. Yeah, 29 penalties. If you don't get suspended, if I'm the coach. You're benched. You're benched for the next game. Yeah, because uh, that was a lot of unnecessary stuff. Yeah, 29 pims. Also, just, yeah, tw- yeah, 29 in a night and a negative one. You're not exactly contributing much to the ice yeah. guy. Besides just punching people. Well, not only more, that. More accurately, sucker punching. Like, you've got guys like Daniel Carr basically standing up for everybody on the ice. Because yeah, no Carr one... was getting into it because he was sick of watching his teammates get bullied. And I'm sorry, there is no reason for going after the goalie the way that the Wolves did tonight. Yeah, aren't goalies None. off limits or they should be? Your goalie, like, again, the same Here's res- the thing. When they went to protect the goalie, the linesman would get in the middle and then call a penalty on the admirals. That's how exactly. that went. Like, I again, it's that, it's that stupid thing where... Uh, the whole like, retaliation is yep, worse retaliation. than the act. Which, I'm sorry... That's not re- that's not retaliation. That's defending. Well, that's difference. revenge. It's the same difference. You're defend- you're trying to get- is you're- same difference. You're trying to keep the one guy that's keeping the puck from going it was a keep the opposing well, puck here's- going in. And he they're they're basically just you sh- like hitting him up like target practice. Well, let's just hope that the referees pull their heads out of their butt tomorrow and the Admirals play the Rockford Ice Hogs at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena at 6 p.m. We also have a concert night tomorrow. I'm not sure who the concert is. Dan Carey Library. It's a country uh, night. Russell Dickerson. Yes. He's a country artist. And that's all I know. And uh, most tickets I know for the the 100 and the 200 level are pretty well sold out. To my right, understanding. If I'm not mistaken, this game tomorrow will be the ninth meeting between the Ice Hogs and Admirals this year. That's Milwaukee is currently right. on a six game winning streak against the Ice Hogs. Yep. Uh, oh. Milwaukee's record is 7 0 1 0. Also, much like, you know. Like, when it comes to the Wolves, we usually play a pretty good game. Like, it's, it's like, always a, a spectacle to see. Uh, Rockford and, like, many of our opinions here that I'm sure all of us agree, they're, like, one of the better rivals that we have. Yeah. The last time we played the Ice Hogs was back on February 1st. It was a 7-1 Milwaukee victory. We were at that game. And so tomorrow we will have this. Yeah. We're well, looking at you. We're giving you a thumbnail for a preview. Yeah, look at that. So, well, we're not changing the Admirals one because we're going to be wearing our Crimsons, too. Yep, yeah. we're going to be still wearing the same jerseys. Um, over the season, the Admirals are 7-0-1-0. So we have a overtime loss, which means... It's a point. Yeah. That was a point. Yeah, but it's, like I said, we have a six-game winning streak against these guys. Uh, Dan, you want to read off Rockford's leading scores? If you guys want to, I'm gonna, I will. Go ahead. If you want to, go for it. Sure. Uh, uh, top of the right was it the Rockford uh, scorers. Uh, yeah. No no doubt whatsoever are the Secura brothers. Oh, yeah. uh, we have Tyler Secura first with 13 and thirteen goals and 20 assists and 33 points. Uh, we also have uh, Dylan Secura with 13 goals, eight, 18 assists, and 31 points. Followed by Brandon Hagel with 18 goals, 9 assists, and 27 points. Uh, next is Lucas Carlson with five goals, 21 assists, and 26 points. And lastly, we have Mackenzie Entwistle with nine goals, 14 assists, and 23 points. So like, these are your, your like, uh, as we pointed out in our last bout with Rockford, these, are, these have been the top uh, five guys, like, almost all season. All right, right. the last five games, Rockford is 4-1, and, and Milwaukee's 2-3. and three. Rockford's been climbing a little bit. 
Yeah. So, so I, I hope they don't jump up and bite us in the butt. I don't think they'll climb too high, but they'll be like this is a team that is definitely on the winning path. Uh, what's Brock for his road record, Dan? Seeing how you were literally right by that stat, you could have found the road record. Away record. Their away uh, record is 10, 12, 1, and 1. Okay. So, again, yeah. that's pretty middling. It doesn't, yeah. like, it's not a complete guarantee that the ads will sweep them. But I'm going to have confidence that they will because, you know, yeah. I want my team to win. Also, that makes for a good game, honestly. Yeah. Like, we don't want a total blowout. That, like the like, last time. Like a total blowout. It's like while well, they're good for we in the we last bored with that in the last meeting. three meetings, the Admirals have nineteen goals. Yeah, and they've only given up uh, seven. Mm-hmm. Yep, seven in their last three. If we go four, it's like eight goals we've given up and scored twenty three. Yeah, so we've basically been handing Rockford their butt on a silver platter lately. Also, uh, for tickets tomorrow, which is a 6 p.m. game. Yes. So we got a 6 p.m. game. Uh, if you are interested in getting your tickets, this is a little bit of goodwill. Uh, well, is it goodwill mentioning? Because we're not sponsored by the Admirals in any way. Uh, give them a call tomorrow. They are having the offices open for a short time. Um, From noon to Four, noon to four I don't know usually. If they three or four. Or yeah. No, no, noon to um, noon to three. So noon to three. Uh, you can give them a call at four one four two two seven zero five five zero. It's packed that place. Tomorrow. Yeah, seriously. Uh, if you do get your tickets through them, and if you're able to pick them up at the at the Admiral's office at five ten West Coburn Avenue, that's right next to the arena. You can also purchase a parking pass there for uh, base price at uh, was it Isaac's parking? Yeah, like twenty. Yeah, eh, it's like 15. 15 yeah, it's 15. And uh, if you're looking for any more game day information, that's all accessible at uh, MilwaukeeAdmirals.com. Yeah. Tickets are remarkably cheap. All right, so in Rockford's last 10, they are 6 3 0 oh, 1. Um, in the Admirals' last 10, they are 5 4 0 oh, 1. Um, we did have a little bit of a slump. Um, with Iowa losing, we are now up to 78, 79 points, back up to a seven-point lead. Yay. And we're just also, one away. Also, Go just for. out of a funny ha-ha moment. Oh, I know what you're going to talk about. <laughs> Bellevue, Belleville also lost tonight, so we yeah. gained another two points on the lead. Woo-hoo. So, yep, our magic number uh, quietly shrinking away. I love it. I love uh, it. We're only one point away from crossing 80. Yeah. So that's, again, guys. We're having a special season. Special this year. season. I'm really enjoying you it. Can't panic. You can't panic. Yeah. I don't know why everybody's so, like, critical of this team. Like, eesh. They're scared. Again, it's, it's nice to have success, but again, the breaks of a regular season is losing. Yeah. Uh. Not All right, so as of as of tonight, the Admirals' magic number is twenty. Twenty. Again, that's and we have a whole month uh, for the division play, so. is forty-six. For the league is forty. Forty-one. No, oh, for the division is thirty-six. For the league is thirty. Seven. Okay. So we're looking at. <sighs> hey, would you guys agree that tonight was uh, basically playoff style hockey minus the fighting? <sighs> beer league. Mm-hmm. That reminded me a lot of a pro team going against a beer league team. Yeah. The only player that actually played on that team tonight was Dansk. Yeah. Oscar. Yeah, Dansk was really good tonight. I'll give him credit. Oz was actually playing some pretty serious puck, like, like, uh, like not just saying like not just saying like he's the only good member on it, but like anytime we were because we all sit in the attack zone, you can see these like you can see these efforts made. Yeah, I sit in the attack yeah. zone too, and I could see it. He's definitely a caliber player worthy of like you know. Oh, Rockford the has a three and three. Three and Ooh. three. I don't like that when a team's forced to play a three and three. Mm. And San no, Antonio's no, got to play a three and three. Should play three and three. No. 
You taxes. Can play three and four, yeah, but you need uh, at least uh, some type of. Break. All right, so the Admirals kind of need to come out with two points tomorrow. With uh, I doubt that Iowa drops both games to Texas. No. Uh, can we see what other uh, was it? Do we have any other uh, Central Division games? Tomorrow? Yeah, what else? Uh, the most here? play Bellevue. Texas Ooh. plays Iowa. San Antonio plays Grand Rapids. Uh, Rockford plays us, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, Chicago is off. Uh, Look at your wounds. And getting suspensions. But getting what? Them. What? I'm confused. Get, oh, wait. But, um, the Texas-Iowa game, I wouldn't count Texas out entirely. Texas yeah, Chicago is off. Uh, well, like I said, that it's all against each other, minus yeah. Manitoba. Yeah, Manitoba, I don't see them beating Bellevue. Yeah, but Manitoba it's... could possibly help us if they could upset Bellevue. If, if, they upset. if. That's a big if. But, but the game that I'm kind of watching that's outside of the radar a little bit is going to be the Iowa-Texas game because Texas can show up to these games and completely be a sleeper. Hey, yeah, because they did Texas it to us. Owned yes. us. Yes, that's exactly why. Like, I understand that the Admirals are going through their little tiny funk, but Texas has been known in the fran in franchise history to just completely own you when yeah. you least expect it. Like last year, they completely owned us. This year, it's been more of the same. Also, give me oh, a also update: Josh Norris recalled by Ottawa. That was tonight. Uh, Rockford uh, had a who? Uh, who uh, Rockford just lost somebody as well. Nope, they picked up Josh McArdle. Oh, oh, yeah, loaned to Indy. Yeah, uh, they were recalled. Oh. Yeah, this was before the game. Right before the game. Ah. Oh, that's an editorial. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's... literally, like, Quinny was in the building. Let's establish who these, uh, these are. Chicago Wolves had four transactions just before the game. Zach Whitecloud, J.H. Quinny, and Brandon Packle. Uh, by, basically... Vegas took everybody that the Wolves had and went, mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Either taking them back to Vegas or sending them down to the ECHL affiliate in Fort Wayne. I wonder, is this uh, Vegas' way of uh, sticking it to Chicago? Without getting too personal, like, without yeah. getting in too much editorial, I say yes. Because I mean, it's, it seems like it. it that, yes, that's, that's exactly suspicious it. Suspicious to have that much happen before the game. This Which is funny was... because they sent them down yesterday just to practice with the wolves and then called them back up. Yeah. Yeah, there's something up there. Like, like something like that. I feel like they're torturing them. I mean, you I can, can see me with my spectacles. Like seriously, with me and my spectacles here, or my speculatory spectacles. Yeah. It feels kind of. It, it is suspect that it just you you if wouldn't put like this a, if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck it's a duck it's a duck yeah me. ain't that the same yeah yep um so like I said come down to the UW Panther Arena check out the Admirals versus we, the, the, versus this team right here what else do we have going on there Dan we also have Darren Hader doing some uh, autographs too yes really? during the yes. Um, our, during the uh, uh, first intermission why was I not why didn't this not get brought to my attention earlier? It was on their social media. I haven't checked the ad on social <laughs> they, media. Okay, I will give you that. They've been going crazy on the social media aspect because they were promoting this. Yeah, because like, I was crazy. busy at the game. I didn't check their social media. I'm going to have to bring a hockey puck and get it on. Bring your, uh, bring your uh, bobblehead. Yeah. yeah. Get your bobble sign. Yeah, anybody that went to this game, bring your bobble. Or if you got one of the player tees from the arena store. That too. Bam. All right. So we got one more video to do. Dude, that'd be awesome if I can get this on. Yeah. Go for it. All right. So we got one more to do. Florida, everybody fans. We, we didn't, didn't forget. forget. You. We didn't We're forget. We're almost you. there. All right, guys. We know you guys are last on our list, but. Uh, give us a uh, what is it? Give us some love on YouTube with a subscription. Yep. Uh, ding the bell for us. Uh, just a reminder that all of our videos that go on uh, either our Facebook page go to YouTube first. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a uh, exclusive by just subscribing with us. Yeah, you're getting it first. And uh, getting us to 35. 
Yeah, and 35. We're a four away because we're at 31 curves. We'll see. I'm sure Dan will see. Like, maybe we can do something special if we can get to a yeah. milestone of some sort. Yeah, if you guys can get to 35 by our next um, my, editorial my video, um, our next editorial video is going to be massive. Yeah. That's How good. about we go live on it? What's a, we what? cannot. No. Oh. no, 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 no. That would be huge. All right, all right, all right. But uh, what? We can crash we... the computer. What's a, <laughs> could you give him a little sneak peek of what it could be, Dan? <sighs> because maybe that might be incentive. Um, one second. See? Go ahead. You guys uh, talk about the wonderful thing that is... Hockey Locker. Ah, yes. Hockey Locker. Uh, Hockey Locker is our beloved... And uh, initial sponsor. Yeah, you uh, can visit them at hockeybackermilwaukee.com. Or you can give them a call with any uh, questions, needs, or any any hockey needs, really. Yeah, you can go there and get <laughs> all your hockey essentials. So yep. uh, feel free to check them out. Go there and spend the money. They like it. Mention our podcast, too. Just if let them know. If you spend the money. But yeah. if you're not spending <laughs> money, we don't know you. But uh, if you have any questions or concerns about uh, any kind of uh, hockey equipment that you have, like if you want to ask about how they handled their uh, shape, was uh, skate sharpening, give them a call at 414-800-7585. Yeah, they'll even help you find a proper fitting skate for you because you don't need to break your ankle when you're trying to skate. And even if you're not a hockey player or a figure skater and you just skate for fun, you could go there and get skates and get them sharpened and get your gear there. I don't know if they have any of the retro throwback Milwaukee Admirals gear. But you can gear. get old. Uh, you can get old NHL jerseys. You can get uh, Milwaukee current. Admiral jerseys with yeah. the current logos. You can get jersey customizations. You'll get great customer service. Retro NHL stuff too, if I remember. Oh yeah, you can yeah. get the old uh, NHL jerseys. Yeah. So yeah, coming up next, old coming up next, a coming oh. up preview. Oh dear. Oh no. No. We're going to be talking about these. We're going to the swamp. Oh no. And we're, I mean that in a good way. We're going to be talking about NHL arenas. Oh. Inside that is our room. next. Well, why that coverage? Just on the swamp. That would be the Florida. Be Foreshadowing to our Florida. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, this is going to be our next video. We are going to be talking about arenas. The yeah. arenas, we're going to be doing a little editorial video on what our thoughts of each NHL arena is. Shortly after that, the next week, we're taking a week off because me and Chris will we'll be, be in Tennessee. We will be Riders, in this building. You'll be in the bridge. Watching Fang Vision. <laughs> and yeah. we'll probably do a crappily uh, recorded video off of his cell phone. From... Um, doing a recap of the Admirals and as well as them because the Admirals play while we're traveling. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah we're going to be uh, having some pretty rough looking videos coming up. But hey, bear with it. We're traveling. I'll see what I can do if I can get anything done. Ah. We'll see. We'll you, can, see. you guys can see my, my, uh, my terrible bedroom once again. <laughs> With my desk, but that gets the joys of living in student uh, student apartments. So, like we said, we yeah, have yeah, a man, lot. College kids. Yeah. Well, like we said, we have a lot of stuff going forward. A lot of good stuff for uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville. Like we said, we hit a thousand in the likes, one point one in the follows. We are almost to one thousand and fifty actually already. Yeah. It's people like growing. This. So please. You 1,050. Go take that 1,050 and go over to YouTube. Type in from Milwaukee to Nashville and subscribe. All you have to do is subscribe. You don't need to watch. We'll whoa, work out. We'll, want you to watch. well, hang on. Because if the subscriptions will make other people want to watch. They see the subscription number, then they want okay, to okay, watch. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go. All right. So we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. This is Christopher Draves. And this is Matt Weiss. Hey, hey. Mm. <laughs> you botched it. Uh, I, right, I, I, I was joking. It's my voice. Thank you. <laughs> All right, later. Love you guys.